Alright guys, hello, welcome back to another, uh, just no, another normal chess video. Uh, today we're going to play the Dead Lost Bot. If you have watched any of any of my videos, you may have seen me wearing a Deadpool hoodie, Deadpool t-shirt. I am a fan of Deadpool myself. Um, is probably one of my favourite characters. And as of 2023... The chess.com have brought back the new chess bots, or some of the new chess bots, some of the older, uh, better ones through 2023. And yeah, we're just going to play. This bot is rated 1300. I have had a few games before, majority have lost. I have beaten it without any assistance before. Uh, but we're going to jump straight into it. And immediately, they have the white pieces. <clears throat> and they have went for uh, G4. Very, very strange move. What's that? The birds opening? Or the grub opening? So it is. Um, so we're just going to kind of play a principle, take control of the centre here. It's going to be a bit of a tactical game. It does need to be. You need to make sure that you're uh, watching everything and not uh, <coughs> excuse me, missing any very simple tactics or anything like that. So immediately, he's attacking this pawn twice. It is defended twice. Uh... If we do get the queen out, it'll be a very fast, uh, you know, it'll be under attack very quickly. So we'll throw our other pawn in the center here. Don't see a big mistake. I am expecting he's either setting up this move or this move to undermine the center uh, to attack this pawn. So we will, now if we do this, cuts off one of the defenders. So we will bring out our bishop first. Again, we're expecting one of these moves. Okay, takes instead. So we can take. Then if the bishop takes, we take with the queen, threatening the rook. He develops the knight. Uh, defended by the queen, so we can't take. Um, and we end up with our queen in the center. He gets a bit more development there. But I think we'll keep it simple enough. Capture with the pawns, get our, keep our pawns in the center. And uh, just continue development this way. So we will... Bring out our, we need another defender here. It's currently under attack twice. Uh, so we get another defender by, you could go knight here, but that'll be under attack. You could go knight here, but then that blocks in our dark squared bishop from getting out. Uh, I, th I think this is probably the better move. We can then fiend shadow the bishop here. We can lock the position. Then he pushes, we have to retreat back, if we take, he takes, opens up his king a bit, I think that's, I think yeah, this may be the point in time that we trade in the centre, okay, he's going for this pawn, right, very simple move, we could just lift our queen up, um and don't know or we could just push this pawn i think well currently there's three attackers here there's three defenders there is also three attackers all the same pieces equal material that way um but he is also threatening this pawn so we don't want to remove any of these defenders we uh like Takes, 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 takes. No, well, like we're winning at the end of that. Um, take, 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 take. Yeah, so he needs to get one more attacker. He could push this pawn, add an attack very quickly. Um, hmm. Right. Make a simple move. Stop this pawn from being under attack. He then goes for this pawn. We can take and kind of destroy the structure even more. We could push, but that's not really a fork because it's not defended. I say we just take. We're gonna. Uh, we could hold on to the pawn, so we could hold on to it. We can't move that knight. So yeah, I say we just take, get that pawn to cause a wee bit of havoc there in the center. We will. We could push, attacking his knight. And also discovered attack on his queen. Yeah. 
Okay, he sees a discover attack, he goes for a check. We can then just block that check with the knight. Knight gets taken, takes, now he can take, it's gonna be check again. Uh, we fall back, re-attacking his queen. And we take the, ah, oh, it's another check. Yeah, now we lost that pawn, that was a poor end to that sequence there. Um, have we got any checks ourselves? No, we do not. We're currently pinned. Um, hmm. Every castle. This is going to be lost. So. Don't think that's a terrible move. Okay, he's just replaced it now. Um, let's see, can we maybe... Well, can we castle now? If we castle, he can't take. Because then we take his queen. But if he takes with the queen, we take. We're losing that bishop at the end of it. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, trying to think, what can we do? We can push this pawn maybe? It doesn't do much. An attack. But that really opens up our king. So it does, attacking the knight. Take it away from the defense of this knight. Uh, oh god. Huh. Take. Take. Uh, and we're still pinned. We're still pinned. Let's see. Maybe double up here. I'm thinking now. That's my idea. There's no forks there or anything. I'm thinking double up. Okay. Okay, now we're just down a knight. I said just down a knight, a knight is plenty of material. So well, I've got a asset here at the minute. That's a check. We can start bringing our king out. If we go here, it's a, he gets a discovered attack. Go here, takes away the defense of that pawn. Can't go forward. I, did we just go straight back? I think we just go straight back. Okay, now we can push again. Uh, we could also go here and then push with the discovered attack, but he'll likely bring the rook over. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Now we can't castle, so it's going to be a bit difficult getting this rook out. This would be, this pawn would be terrible there, under attack twice. Here, takes. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Just push. I'm thinking, like, I, I do think that's kind of one of the only moves we'll have here at the moment. Uh, okay, right. Then, can we attack that in any way? As of yet, we can go here actually, attacking it. Attacking this pawn and the rook. Okay, now we get the rook. It's not a bad trade. Well, we could take this first. Can we? Has he got any checks? He's got a check here. That just loses. He's got a check here. That's quite vital. Takes away a very important pawn. So we will try to save that pawn. That's checkmate. Oh my god. What? Oh ha ha. I didn't think because immediately whenever Whenever the knight was here, that pawn defended it, but I didn't. Like, that checkmate is just disgusting. Cuts off. Knight cuts off our escape and gives us a check while the bishop is just beaming. That, that was a dirty, dirty checkmate. Oh. I'll give it a wee game review. Oh, I thought we were doing so well as well. See if I had the advantage, and that was the one blunder I made. I'll be raging, absolutely raging. It's 61% accuracy. Ah.
the bot had. So the grub opening. This is all actual. Okay, until there. It was theory. What was the best move? Pushing. Okay. Right, see these pawn flank pushes? They're difficult. They're they're a pain to see. Um Okay, yeah, we're just making plenty of mistakes. That was the best move, that's good. I should have pushed the pawn on the flank. Doubling up was good, taking the trade. Okay, so we should have moved over, lost this then? Okay. Let me see, why? That's it, it literally just wants to lose the pawn, okay. Uh, now why would be sliding the rook over one square be better? Okay, I it defends this pawn, which also defends the checkmate. Uh -huh. Very, very simple. Should have thought a bit more. That's that's very frustrating. We had an estimated elo of a thousand. Uh, so we're playing slightly, slightly under our target. Uh, but here, what can what can you do? I thought I thought it was quite a good game. Like the grob opening. Who? Why does the computer play the grob? Why? Why? Like in all the games I've played it, it has not done this. It has not played the grob. Oh, we got into a very tight situation there. All the pieces looking at each other, and we've just blundered a very, very simple checkmate. Well, it's not simple. It's not a simple checkmate, really. This bishop sitting staring here, cutting off our king's escape, our rook is blocking our other escape score, and then the knight comes in and cuts off the last two while giving us a check. That's just dirty. It is just dirty. We start to lose the advantage about here. So we did. That move lost us the advantage. Uh, would have preferred to bring the knight out. Uh, there's no sequence. That's it. It's just one move. It's just one move the computer is suggesting. So that's the type of position that we are in. Uh, but here. It happens. I did enjoy it now. Uh, as I said, I have beat it before. I tell you, let me have a look. And we'll see. Um, This is the win that... I had against the bot okay it's a very choppy game uh decent moves at 81 percent accuracy good old trusty carol khan um immediately we hit an inaccuracy i should have brought the knight out defending this pawn um and we got our bishop immediately attacked started being pushed around a bit this i was kind of unsure about why did it want it's just such a strange trade um to take there and yeah the best move for both of us here was to take the pawns in the center but it took us a wee while to do it he initiated it uh we just start trading off a few of our pieces slider uh, light square bishop back into defense we get checked uh which we can block with the knight helping with a bit of development get castle to safety attack the bishop push him all the way back and launch the pawn in front of our rook uh for defended by three pieces uh, attacked only twice it's right in the same column as his king uh, we traded off the light square bishop pushed our pawns up started to trade off the queen and the rooks get it into an end game and yeah there was a few mistakes here but we managed to capitalize uh, I wanted to rewrite our knight so it did probably bring it back up here attacking we went for the bishop instead he it blundered but we didn't capitalize. He blundered the fact that you can go check, then you win this pawn, so say he has to move back, and then you just trade off. Uh, and you have two outside pass pawns. Um, and yeah, we, we just managed to capitalize in the end game. Uh, I felt a bit more comfortable there. He did end up blundering a fork right about, where was you here? Yeah, he blundered the fork. We ended up winning the bishop. Made it a lot easier, traded off the last uh, uh, knight. Now here, we've got this pawn defended by the knight, okay? This pawn is about to start marching down the board, so I realized we have to go back and capture it. Um, as you see, it does advance towards our knight, and you start thinking, oh, well what if he, do? all right, we take his pawn, he takes our knight, this pawn's just getting through. So at no point in time, can he take that knight? Because if he does, 
even here, you know, computer says that he should have taken the night, but it, it wouldn't have worked out because it says it's a free night, but we get the pawn up, we get a queen, and then, you know, we're going to end up winning in the end anyway. But we snatch up the rest of his pawns, push our pawns forward, and just get a nice wee ladder. It's very simple, checkmate. And in this game, I performed a 14.50. It's a big difference, big, big difference there, so there is. Uh, this game, not so much. Didn't end too well, you know. We got we got mated in spectacular fashion. I uh, think it was crazy. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and you know, I, I do wish I, I could have got a win, but unfortunately not. But you did see that I have beat him before. Uh, thirteen hundred. It's quite a hard bot. You do need to properly be thinking. You need to have a uh, better. You need to come out of the opening better, or else you'll just get absolutely demolished um but yeah i hope you enjoyed have a good one stay safe and bye 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 bye